Did people think that Greenberg was going to win? Certainly not very much. I mean, I think this really highlights it. Credit Suisse, before the arguments and before the closing arguments, what they said was 1 in 10. After the closing arguments, they raised that to 1 in 30. So, they, you know, after they bought Paulson and Geithner and Bernanke on to testify f towards the lawsuit, they, right. they raised their chances for this. So, but it definitely, was... no one expected today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was at stake for AIG? For AIG? They, they could have been on the hook to pay uh, the U.S. back. The U.S. could have sought indemnities, and that could have been anywhere between $25 billion and $40 billion. Credit Suisse, again, had said that it could have been around $8 billion was, that, was what they had calculated. Okay, what does this mean for bailouts in the future? I mean, what's next here? Is it over? It's not quite over because both both Greenberg and the U.S. could keep this argument going for a very long time. They can appeal. But, you know, it does put a lot of pressure. If a bailout were to happen tomorrow, it does put a question whether the it, it is legal for the government to do this. Obviously, they have to do mm. what's in the public's best interest, right. but it, there's more pressure.